Ah, <sighs> my first day off in however long it's been. Nothing to do but just relax. All right, all right, I'm up. And if I'm gonna be doing tech stuff anyway, I might as well hang out with my peeps from, you know, Float Plane, YouTube, Billy Billy. Me. And you were here. <laughs> Cable management time. And more. Now that this TV is unexpectedly no longer a business expense, I was thinking maybe we should mount it to the center of the wall and not with drywall anchors. So we're gonna pull it off and throw it back on with a sheet of plywood, which will be great. Uh, I mean, it was probably seismically safe. Just like this segue to our sponsor. Seasonic. Ah! Their Focus Plus 750 watt power supply is fully modular and features both an 80 plus gold efficiency rating and a 10 year warranty. Learn more and pick one up for yourself at the link in the video description. Realistically, you guys want to get out of here probably pretty soon. So let's get this off, reposition and get you guys out of here. Are we doing this thing? Yeah. Please don't hurt yourself again. Can you not? Where are we going with it though? Um, that's a good question. I think that's probably our best bet. My side's stuck. Oh, hey -o. oh boy. How we doing, how we doing buddies? Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, don't worry. Okay, it's coming down. Man, that was much easier this time. I wasn't here. That's all that holds this thing up? Dude, that's it. And the screw doesn't get tight enough to keep it from rotating. <laughs> what? Look at these toggle bolts. It's not even it wiggling. Even you were move. worried that it wasn't gonna hold up. It is. I was more concerned about seismically stable oh. than whether it was actually gonna stay. Did Elijah work on this? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I didn't. <laughs> this is terrible. Like, what, we've got a glory hole here. And everything. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. There's no glory. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my God. I'm helping. Elijah, can we have like one of those blankets, please? Yes, sir. Well, no, I mean. Well, you were asking for it. Yeah, this seems fine. Seems fine. Did you want to patch and paint this before we do anything? Or? What do you mean? This is patched. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, it's so lovely. Look how patched it is. This is the first thing we need to deal with. We've got our scary 240 volt to standard North American adapter cable here, but unfortunately with the bulky ends, it doesn't fit through a conduit to the TV, which is why it's running through a hall. I just need to remove, LTT, the end of this cable store with the twistandlockconnector.com with my trusty screwdriver. Go ahead and remove that sponsor block. <laughs> then I gotta transplant it onto this after we've run it through the walls. Elijah, you ready to climb through the walls? Always am. I love the enthusiasm, but that's really not how you pull cable through a wall. What, climbing through the wall? Yeah. I, well, how do you do it then? I know, it's, we're working with him. If there's one thing I know about myself, it's that I never know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I ran conduit between here and the mechanical room, between here and a potential TV location up there, between here and potential projector location up there, and between here and that closet over there. So we're gonna take this 240 volt power, which I unexpectedly needed because I bought a Chinese TV, and we're not gonna put it there. We're gonna put it here. You wanna help feed this to me? The idea is that we're gonna carry this all the way back to the mechanical room. Now we gotta lube it up. Why? There's some 90s, there's like oh. three 90s here, so it can be a little bit challenging, especially because there's already some stuff in there. I was kind of joking, but I've never actually pulled like cable through conduit. As long as you have a pull wire, it's super simple. If you don't, then it can be a little bit more complicated kind of fishing a thing through. But basically all we need to do is take the end of this and a new pull wire so that we will always have a pull wire there and tape them to the existing pull cord, which not gonna lie, a little confused right now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go check the other end. Okay. Nope, moves freely from this end. Weird. New plan, Elijah. Okay. We're gonna take a cable that was already in there that has an extra 30 feet on it, long story. And we're gonna use that to pull the other wires. Then okay. We'll pull it back. Okay. It'll be great. Do you wanna pull or do you wanna push? Uh, I will push. I feel like there's less responsibility. Actually pushing is way harder because you gotta manage all of this without it getting tangled up. Then I will pull. Cool. Okay. Time for Luby McLuberson to do his work. Uh, Elijah, were you, you know, gonna pull it? I think, I think it's this cable coming out right here. Um, um, Elijah? 
I don't know if I'm supposed to be pulling yet. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah, he's calling me. Hey, buddy. Hi, were you gonna pull on the cables at all, or? I am pulling. <laughs> okay, yeah, you gotta pull with your arm strength. It's like 20 feet above me, bro. You got this. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, I gotta lube it, I gotta lube it, just a sec. <laughs> Elijah, just, can you relax and just pull the cable? I'm trying to pull the cable. <laughs> okay, okay, hold yep. on, let me pull it back a bit then. Just pull okay. evenly and slowly, like like how you're pulling a cable. Okay, not, not in a jerking motion. I'm not doing it in a jerking motion. Can I try? Sure, please do. <laughs> please do try. Yeah, like it, it, like it, I'm stuck at the same spot for a while. She's going. Hey, we made it. You know what I think the problem was? As soon as most of the inside was lubed, it was smooth sailing. It's just that these Corning cables have a bit of a rubbery sheath on them compared to a, a pole wire, which is slicker and designed for this. So I think it was getting quite jammed up in there. All right, nice. Okay, that's it guys. Please tell me it's gonna make it to the rack. Yeah, Elijah, don't worry. You wait for me. I'll get this tape off. Well, it's your house. Yeah. By the way, a big one for me when I'm pulling cables, resist the temptation to put two different pieces of tape on it. Resist. Because when you're unwrapping it, you will be very unhappy. Uh, were you guys sure this was going to reach to the rack? Oh, I didn't realize I needed to go all the way down there. Oh, yeah. She, uh, she sits. She sits, but barely. We're just going to move the rack. There. Jake was giving me a hard time about not putting down the feet, keeping it on wheels. Ha! Who's the idiot now, Jake? <laughs> Checkmate. Boom, right there. Awesome. Should have measured that before we put it in the wall. Okay, our plan is we're gonna do the outers with normal screws and then the inners with the legs. Of legs. I mean, we could probably just use normal screws for everything, right? That's really fine. It's your wall. Right. Yeah. I mean, realistically, it's gonna be better than what we had, which was drywall anchors. Good ones, toddlers. Good ones. They work they just fall. fine. Yeah. But drywall anchors. If you want, stands right there if you wanted to have a mark no, that's like right here. Yeah, it's not my house, so. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs, but then that's actually what he's doing. Okay, Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he really is me. <laughs> yeah, you really elijah that one up. Elijah's not a verb. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm telling These are the doodads to keep it from whacking the wall, and we didn't put those on before because we were told it was just temporary. I wasn't entirely sure what they were for, and the manual is in Chinese. Yeah, that's, I don't, that's also true. I don't read that. Really? Yeah. Unfortunately. You look like you would read Chinese. It I minus, could read a Chinese menu. Minus, you still have the... Uh, <laughs> Were we going to run that HDMI cable oh, as well? Balls, yes. Where's the pulling stuff? Ah. Theoretically, again, the cable that I had running along the floor is long enough, but I'm not 100% sure. Elijah's first cable pull. It's so sweet. Okay, what am I doing? Am I just like pouring it on like sauce? Like sure. Okay. You show us how you would lube something. Well, I I have no experience. <laughs> you gotta move your diamond play button. What a one percent issue to have. The lube's not coming. I'm trying to get the lube out. <laughs> Stop laughing. I've I've never done this before, bro. Just 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 get lube on it and then I'll pull it. You gotta keep putting lube on while you feed it. Really, the whole time? Yeah, the whole time. Why? So that it continuously it, has lube on it. Yeah. Do you need me to pull back or? Nope. Oh. Uh, yeah, I got it all. Oh, okay, cool. Got it? Uh, I felt it. Oh yeah, it's got there. Got it? I just can't, I can't. Okay, do you, is it there it. though? It's, I feel it, but it, it keeps disappearing. I don't oh. know where it's going. Uh, sorry. Maybe it's going back up into the conduit? Yeah, I think so. That can happen sometimes on the toilet. You just gotta make sure it... <laughs> <laughs> Stop. But I don't think okay. my fingers are Do you long. have it though? No, I, my fingers aren't long enough. Well, okay, is it there or not? Yes, it is there. I keep How about now? <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where it's going. Okay. TV back on wall? TV back on wall. Ready, one, two, three. Wah! 
How can you guys say this is not 400 pounds? I'm pretty sure the box weight was right. Oh guys, it's not centered. I'm kidding. I'm totally. I'm. Ki I'm totally kidding. 100% kidding. It's. It's perfect. I was ready to throw hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this HDMI boy over here. You can pull it out more. Maybe I just need some lube. Oh, I have it upside down. I am gonna have to clean this thing. Yeah, actually, it's got a ton of fingerprints. That's gonna be a bit of a chore. <laughs> it's gonna take a minute, you know. <laughs> First world problem, I'm sorry, I need, I need an hour to clean, clean my TV. With that off the honey-do list, it's time to take care of something that I should have done a long time ago. What is this? There's no charging cables for the headphones, so they run out of battery half the time. There's cables all over the place, and the risk of accidentally unplugging something with your foot, very high. So we've got Icron on one side. We're gonna have all of the power bricks for the monitors or the Icron itself all in the center. And then on this side, we're gonna have our power bar or whatever side is closest to the outlet that makes it best. I can't see through the cables. They're everywhere. <laughs> I'm in jail. Are these metal? Oh, perfect, they are. Okay, so just for something simple like this, I probably won't need that 3M backing. I can kind of just get it all bunched up, put it in our little comb here and stick. Awesome. Yeah, I just don't want it dangling for someone to kick or something like that. That's pretty good. So Glenn was actually just asking me like what actually these little Icron silver docks are that I'm plugging everything into. In case you've missed it in a past video, Linus explained that it passes all of the USB from the computers that are in the server room to a similar dock like this, all just through the fiber cable here, which is actually pretty sweet. You can get all of your front IO, your rear IO, a USB just coming right through this fiber cable, which is kind of the only thing that makes it a cool setup. All the heat is over there. Everything else is a mess <laughs> and it's chaotic. <laughs> Man, I'm ready for this. Got my cable ties in different lengths, got my cable arches in different sizes. Hmm, why is this wall plate just hanging out? Step one is to fix these DisplayPort wall plates that we set up ages ago with these extensions. Ugh. The shorter the run, and therefore the less loss we have, the better with these fiber optic cables that are running through the walls. And then we should decide on one orientation for these. So let's go uh, cut off up, because we're tops when it comes to cutting corners. That's how you can remember. I rely on little memory tricks like that when I'm doing a repetitive job, otherwise I have absolutely no chance. Like half of them will be one way and half of them will be the other way. Uh, boy, if you want to put that on the wall, you got to take the outer plate off first. What? what? Elijah told me to put the outer plate on. He told you to put the outer plate on? Well, how are you supposed to screw the inner plate on if the outer plate is on? Well, no, it goes through the inner plate. No, it doesn't. What? No, there's two screws. There's the long ones, those go in the inner plate, and then there's the short ones that go through the outer plate. Are you joking right now? No, I'm not. That's what I did with that one. Well, what? How'd you... I was like, I told you, I was like, oh, it's not centered, and you're like, oh, it's fine. What? What do you... Don't, no, don't investigate now. I didn't know. I didn't... What have you done over here? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, have you ever heard the expression, she doesn't find you handsome, she better find you handy, or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Which one of you? Uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I am none. So, oh, I see what you did. So I did it right? No. Oh. No, no, I see what you did. Oh. I didn't say it's right. <laughs> you had three extra screws and a, mis a misaligned thing. And just okay. Well, no, if you get it in, then extra screws right. are just bonus. Well, this is for all the zoomers out there. There's four holes that matter, okay? You got your inner ones. Okay, those go into here. I'm starting to get it now. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> See, when you said it wasn't aligned properly, they didn't cut out large enough drywall cutouts for all of them. So I, I thought that that's what you meant. Because I thought these holes were the ones going into what you're screwing into now. No. But these are just to go onto the display yeah. port. Oh. Now what I was kind of thinking for all the random cables under the desk was we could just take one of the Mondo extra large ones. Okay. And then just like, hang everything from it and just, as long as it's toward the back, you won't really see it. Yep, that okay. sounds good to me. Cool. One of those things with cable management is it always gets really ugly before it gets good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but once it comes together, it comes together really quick. Well, it's not about the look under the desk. It's about the look of under the desk. Man, this looks so much better from when you don't do that. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah, which is the goal, right? Yeah, that's why there's sit stand. We can keep lowering it. <laughs> just, just keep going down until it looks good. 
I know you got these as well. Yeah. Where did you want these? These hold both your headset and controller, right? Yeah, these are super cool. I didn't realize when I bought them from the print pictures on the website that these are just 3D printed. <laughs> I noticed that, yeah. yeah. The point is, they're cool. They're 3M mounted. I don't see, I mean, I'm sure we could put a screw in it if they end up having a problem, but I was kind of thinking like, oh, there, but not there, I guess, like there. Sure. Right? Then I'll do that. Yeah. I'll do this one. Cool. We'll see who can be done first. It's a race. <laughs> I can't get the. Oh, no. I can't get the three. I can't, I can't get the three. Uh, how close to the front are you? Oh, oh I already, I already put it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, this so you're aligned you're... with the front. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that was not what I meant, but close enough. Not gonna lie, kind of sick. Uh, how's the yeah. cable go? The cable. Because you said you wanted to plug the cable in, but the cable for the controllers is right in the top middle. Yeah. So I was thinking about that just now. <sighs> I have an idea, but you're probably not gonna like it. Oh, that's definitely 3D printed. Quality. That's not that bad, right? Nah, 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 nah. And then just have to kind of, you know, or something. Oh, so you don't ever want them wireless. They're all going to be wired. Yeah, they'll just oh, be wired all the time. Oh, okay. I think the idea was to have these hubs on top of the desk. Cool. So I'm kind of feeling we scooch the desk pads right aligned, but then with like maybe like a one centimeter gap or something like that. Okay. And then these hubs can sit right there. Cool. And we can just uh, double-sided adhesive them. I have a variety of options for mounting the hubs. Okay. This is super cool stuff. It's like a micro suction surface. Oh, so, I've seen you use it before. Yeah, if the bottom of them is smooth, yes. This could actually work really well because cool. it's non-permanent, but I also have um, double-sided tape and, not a word, command strips. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hey, it's you gone. You're not word. supposed to do that. That's not how you use command strips. Yes, sir. Well, now that Linus is gone, he's trusting me to drill the hole. Ow, I just stepped on a cable. I'm the responsible one. <laughs> I think I did somehow a way cleaner job than your dad did. Mine looks fine. His looks like someone chewed through it. <laughs> Before your dad gets back, let's pick up all the garbage. Cause I think we've gotten to the point where like the cables are all organized. Okay, well, that's just making more garbage. I get what Linus has to deal with now. It's like dealing with me. Hey, nice. Fantastic. Works. There are no cables running across the floor. There are no cables running across the floor. Fantastic. Elijah's just finishing up Yvonne's machine and the only one we didn't get to touch today is mine. But, uh, we, which we did on purpose. So we could show you guys the contrast between the before and after so conveniently. Ah, uh, I'll do mine later. What can't wait till later is telling you about our sponsor. Dennis spends $1,200 on a graphics card only to find out he's actually purchased a potato from a sketchy site. He's not dumb, he just didn't use Jawa. What's Jawa? Jawa is a marketplace where you can buy and sell PC parts at reasonable prices from reasonable gamers. No potatoes allowed. Listing your PC parts is easy breezy. Just upload some photos, click a few buttons, slap on the shipping label and get paid. But say you want to sell your GPU like today. Jawa can give you an instant quote and buy it from you directly. Hassle-free and quicker than you can say bangers and mash. And mash. Plus, Jawa also works with a curated group of verified sellers to offer all kinds of PC parts. Some of them will even research and build a custom rig for you. Now, Dennis doesn't overpay for potatoes. Be like Dennis. Go check out Jawa at the link below. If you guys enjoyed this video, how about Alex D's upgrade? Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Go check it out.